Hello. Um, welcome or welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an optics compensation transition plus a turbulent displace. This edit does not require any plugins whatsoever. This is a completely pluginless edit, so let's start. All right, first you're going to import your, your picture like this and um, just basically have your picture ready. My composition is one second long. I recommend your turbulent displace to be about one second long, but um, you can do whatever you want. Um, so then just like add optics compensation to your clip and um, click reverse lens distortion because if you don't then it's going to look like really ugly and we don't want that. So click reverse lens distortion and put it up to about 180 in the beginning. Keyframe it, go to the end of your clip and then set it to zero. Press U on your keyboard for all keyframes and then hover over this last keyframe and press Alt F or not, not Alt, uh, just press F9. That'll just easy ease it. And here you have your optics compensation transition. You can stop there if you're just here for the optics compensation, but I'm gonna show you how I make my like, like if you've seen my edits, like you've seen my turb, my turb before. It's hard for me to say turb before, whatever. Um, you've like seen my turb. I, th I personally think I have a good turb. Um, so I'm going to, and I know I've done a turb tutorial before, but that's like really outdated. So I'm going to show you how to create a better turb. Um, so just like search up turbulent displace and you should be met with something like this. So yeah. And then put the amount to a hundred and the size two at first, and then the displacement to turbulent smoother. Then keyframe the amount and size, and then basically come over here, like like move one frame forward and set the amount to zero, and then move to the end of where you want your turb to end and set the size to 300. Easy is the amount keyframe by pressing F9, and you might be thinking, oh, well, this only goes for one frame. Uh, select the size and amount keyframes and just copy very closely closely on what I do here and just drag it like that and you can stop here if you think that that looks good you can stop here but if you want that extra touch you can keyframe evolution go to where your last amount keyframe is and set this setting to one So yeah, there is my um, optics compensation plus turbulent displace tutorial. I hope this made sense. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I'm still working on my mic, on my uh, speaking skills because you know, I I'm not very good at speaking, and I'm trying to get better at it. So yeah, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.